First alert meteorologist Robert Whitehurst. Now the clouds are back with us this morning. It's a dry start to the day, but as expected, cloud cover returning briefly today. Temperatures starting to see a climb. We were in the 30s, just about everybody earlier this morning. Now pushing it to the 40s. It will be a warmer day despite the clouds and not expecting a lot of rain, but not completely dry. There's a chance of a couple quick moving showers later this morning into the early afternoon. Dry so far, there's some very light rain, really some areas of mist to our west this morning. We'll watch some showers roll in off the Atlantic later today. But again, if you get underneath one, maybe 10 or 15 minutes. Not expecting the rain to last long today, but the clouds will stay with us. Mostly cloudy to overcast through most of Sunday. A little blips of green, light showers, some mist arriving through the early afternoon. Expecting most of that to clear though as we head through dinner time. So plans tonight grilling out 4, 5, 6 p.m. Most spots dry. In fact, we'll see some breaks in the clouds as we head through late this evening. And temperatures warmer today, pushing into the upper 50s to right around 60. Now that's not warm compared to what we had last week. Our average high is 59. So this is pretty close to where we typically are this time of the year. It doesn't last long. Big warming trend heading our way again as the southerly winds return. We really bump the temperatures up starting Monday and it's a steady climb through the rest of the week and a mainly dry forecast. Rain chances slim, no big storm systems heading our way at least for the next five or six days and each afternoon getting a little bit warmer. We hit 70 or pretty close to it Monday and then the 70s returning along the Grand Strand Wednesday, Thursday, the peak of the warmth as we climb to 75, 76, but areas inland of the waterway 82, 83 degrees, Florence, Darlington County, 84, 85 degrees by Thursday, 59. That's where we typically are. We'll be very close to record high temperatures by the end of the work week, and then we'll start to bring it down a bit. We're looking ahead to next weekend, and those temperatures starting to dip back into the 60s, but still above average and outside of one or two cool days. There's a lot of warmth, not only for the next week, but the next couple of weeks. I think we'll keep this warm weather pattern going all the way into early March. Our winter weather chances for this year are continuing to dwindle. I think that early spring is kind of the uh, key here over the next week or so. And we've seen the warmth recently. We'll continue, or at least for the next week, areas inland pushing into the 80s. We get through Thursday, Friday. There's